Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video and today we are going to speak about the, this new feature update that is coming to JP, I would assume to become both uh, both JP and Global. I really do hope so because this probably could indicate that the Saiyan Day is going to be pretty much the cause of this feature update. So. I'm, I'm a bit late on this uh, on this news here because I would have recorded it, but I was, you know, shopping and I was eating, doing some uh, cleaning, all that kind of stuff here. So I didn't have the time to get on the computer and start recording off because I would have done that uh, for the bet. So, you know, uh, fortunately, I'm recording this like at five in the morning. So I'm a bit late here, but I really do hope you guys actually do like hearing my opinion on this stuff. So, of course, let's go over and what the well, I don't have the exact JP stuff on, on the, my screen here. So let's go over the homie Grush here talking about in the future update that Dokkan will let you use two different units in the same team. So what that means in, in the future is that now we can actually see pretty much using Vegito Blue, the physical one and the tech one together, like right here. Uh, shout out to my boy, James Pottytube here, having the gift of Vegito Blue here. So pretty much what that indicates is that in the future, when this update is that we could potentially see that we can see, well, actually we can actually use the physical EZA Vegito Blue and the tech Vegito Blue together in the same team, which is gonna be really amazing. Now this opens up to a bunch of creativity and content creation. You know that too as well and also some content inside of Dokken about it. honestly that this opens up a lot of things it opens up like a new world saying like oh we can make this uh, team here make the unit this like really good and, and like i don't know be at the best potential linking with their own pretty much unit here which is really good thing that that, that i did do love about this unit this update hopefully that they do uh, that they do a correct high call it an execution of this update so I've been hearing a lot of things here. A lot of people are very excited. Someone are not happy about this. And, you know, some are concerned that this link update could be good and could be bad. The reason why is that if they do this, what is the backdrop of using the two different units with the same name on the team? Well, they could just say, hey, you can use the same name on uh, the same units in the same team, but they can't link each other cannot link with each other, which is pretty bad, honestly, which is like that would pretty much just break the hype of this feature update. And I don't think they will do that. Honestly, this game is not meant to be PB PvP, which Dokon doesn't really, Strykoski does not really get that in their minds is that this is not a PvP game, it's a PvE game, and they can do what, honestly, this is not breaking the game. This is actually, I call it, making the game even better, evolving Dokkan Battle as a whole, which is really good. And honestly, it's a really good update. And I, and I love it because this opens to a lot of creativity and more fun into Dokkan Battle than before. Because I love I love these future updates. Like, these updates are really insane. Like, the moment that they came up with the Link update, that was actually pretty good for, like, the whole uh, community because literally they made useless units become really good. Example, like, um, the boots. The Manjin boots were pretty trash. Like, they were pretty bad like not that good enough where like people are like ah i don't really care about these boo units they're pretty trash links are pretty terrible but once with the link up they came out they they became like really good honestly they became like the top tier not the top tier but they came really good useful teams and it's just insane like honestly i do did love that link update and this is where dokkan comes again again and becoming the goat of the mobile gaming franchise, well not franchise, but like, you know, as a mobile gaming is just like best gotcha in the game, honestly, best gotcha in the game. But like, it's just like this just opens up to a lot of things and I hope people do listen to my opinions here and also and also leave a comment down below and also so I, so, so I can read your comments and I'll talk about this too as well because I do want to see your own opinions about this. And like, honestly, this just brings a lot of things to the table and Dokkan, you know, just breaks our expectations here, which is pretty amazing. And so, like, uh, also, let me go further into uh, uh, Gresh's uh, tweet here, where he, he specifically says here that he just wants to cl uh, clarify his people have been saying, asking me, but I said two different units in below uh, in the below the tweet. Just, just to make it clear is that 
I meant by you should able to use a full team of six units have the same name as long as the titles are different. So but what this can mean here is that we can um okay well he says here in other words all units have the same name can be run together on the same team as long as and they are aren't the exact same units. Now, that's pretty good honestly. So honestly this brings a lot into the table honestly this brings a lot of possibilities even units that are pretty trash right now and not being usable so i do have a theory that this could potentially this whole name thing came into dokkan because there's a lot of ruckus in between the community where during the sixth anniversary they'd eza the into ui goku and we have the lr ui goku and People are conflict right now. Are people saying that the into a Goku EZA is way better than the LR, which they're you know they're going back and forth and see who is the best, who is the worst, who is better between them. And it's like you know what, honestly, at rebel status and no dupes for the UI Goku LR, definitely the EZA is way better than the LR. And people are not going to you know going to use the red coins or the gold coins on the UI Goku because. It's just better to use the EZA into a Goku than just having a no dupes on the LRUA Goku. And you know, Gresh has made a tweet there where, you know, Rainbow LRUA Goku and EZA and then versus an LR Rainbow UA Goku. It's just that there's a difference between them two, just that when the LRUA Goku is rainbowed, he he looks more more I call it more a better performance than than the Rainbow EZA Goku. It's just that it just depends on if you have any dupes on the EZA UI Goku and of course in the LR, so like honestly, that caused a bit of a chaos between the community. And I do think Dokkan saw that. It's like, uh, honestly, we're gonna change that. So now we can use the NT uh, UI Goku, the EZA, along with the LR UI Goku, so that people can, you know, can have to use them both. Because honestly, with that easy update, I'm not gonna use the LR UI Goku. Because mine's at zero dupes, and the UI Goku, on my UI Goku for the EZA has all dupes rainbowed. And it's like, so which one do, sh should I use? The EZA or the LR? And I'm going to go with the LR because, not the LR, the EZA because he's way, way, way more better and going to perform more better than the uh, no dupe LR uh, UI Goku because, you know, I, I don't have any dupes in him and he will perform pretty. I mean, he's pretty good still. It's just that I would rather use the e EZA uh, UI Goku because he just does a lot more stuff. And also, he, the uh, UI Goku, the EZA one, has been a lot of banners, and people should already have him at Rainbow, probably two dupes. And if you don't, I mean, I guess you're a new player. So that that's my theory that what happened, and you know, and also this also could come in also as chain battle as well. But I just don't think that could be related to that. But I do think is what happened is that Akoski or somebody saw that, and you know what, you know, you can use these two L, uh, these two, the same units, which you can use the easy and now the LR together, and you know what. That's okay with me, which is going to be really good because now this makes the team competition or the team formula just a lot more better, which I like that. So, yes, thank you, Dokkan, for doing this. So, another two as well, the, this update could potentially buff a lot of units here, and then this could tie into the Saiyan Day unit, which I'll go over that in a second here. I'll put that in the last second here. So, let's go over to the uh, Dokkan Wiki here. Shout out to them. And let's go over to the units that could potentially use this big buff. And I do think it's going to be Piccolo. Piccolo, as you can see, has a, has a Dokkan Fest. He's not of a great unit. I don't mean, okay. Him specifically himself is a really good unit. It's just that you can't really use other Piccolos in the, in the same team. And this update does provide this Piccolo becoming even usable again, which is really good, honestly, because we have is... The Dokkan Fest Piccolo, we got the LR Piccolo, we got this uh, free to play Piccolo here, and we got this uh, STR Piccolo here, and probably in the future, we could get like a probably a future Dokkan Fest Majunior or some kind of a LR Piccolo and Gohan together, you know? I mean, that's something that doesn't that really indicate that, you know, the, the name thing is just that now we can finally use these Piccolo units, like we can use this, um, this easy one here, which Really good EZA, so we can definitely use this team here with the new Piccolo, the, the Token Fest Piccolo, the EZA Piccolo, this movie Piccolo, and the uh, EZA Freddy Play Piccolo, and it's like, that's really good, honestly, that's really good, and now, and now we can use Nail, and then probably Lord Slug as the other unit, and, you know, he's also a Worthy Rivals unit, so we can use a lot more diversity in the teams now, so this makes his leader skill not use like, not useless, and also... We can use Super Saiyan 4 LR Vegeta and the AGL one together. Like, hello, 
that's really good. So this does buff a lot of team compensations and formulas into this team now. This does buff up Piccolo a lot more as the unit itself, which is pretty good. And also, uh, I would say also with this new uh, new name update, like I said, I was talking about is that now you can run is the easy AUA Goku along with the LR and they can use a lot of these Goku's here because literally this is an all Goku team here, which you can't really use any of these Goku because they all share the same name. So now with this new update, you can use the Namek Goku, the uh, 1000 uh, day Goku here, or even the this easy A uh, SBR Goku on the same team. Which is ridiculous, honestly. That's that's so good because I wanted to do this for the longest time. I wanted to use a full base Goku form for the longest time because they are some of them are pretty good. So this is pretty good and going to the right direction here. So you can use a full base Goku team if you want to, or what you can do is like use like the Nana Goku, the LR Goku, and this Goku here, and you can probably like bring in like a lot of these good Super Saiyan Gokus. Like we have this uh, LR here, the. Uh, uh, the Spearman Goku, you can use them with this Goku here, which is, these two together are pretty good. Uh, you can use the Dokkan Fest Goku as well. You can use the, um, how do you call it, this EZA Physical Goku here. Like, there's a lot of, of uh, team composition here that is going to work pretty well. And like, here are the two as well. Like, we can use this, like, these two together too as well. Like, the, these EZAs together. We can even use these guys together. The AGL Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku with this Goku here. There's a lot of things here that, that could work together and just really good. And I love it. So, thank you for this update. Like, we can you run a full Super Saiyan God Goku team if we wanted to. That's just really insane. And I love it. And I love it. Like, look at this. We can just do a full Super Saiyan Blue team as well if we really wanted to. Which is super good. And like I said, we can run is these two together on the same team, which is going to be really disgusting. As well, you can run is, of course, the TR version of the UI NUI Goku and the LR UI Goku together, which is going to be a really good, disgusting team. Like running these two together, the LR and the TR, and uh, this Goku here, the EZA and the LR, like, and also the, the EZA for this physical one. That's just going to be really, honestly, that, that's a really disgusting team. And with this new update it just made a lot of teams more fun a lot of more fun the team yeah you know, it's just like it just it's uh, these guys are open up to freedom so as i said in the beginning is that uh what this could change like what could this indicate and what this could like i don't know what to say could this be tied like okay, could this be tied to the same day unit and it could happen i mean it is probably it probably is because uh for one I do think it could be a Saiyan God Goku, Super Saiyan God Goku, or since we got the, mo the movie heroes or Bio Broly movie heroes, movie heroes, Bio Broly movie per se, um, we could definitely see a transforming Dokkan Fest Broly coming to Dokkan, which I don't think we don't have that. So, and if you look on the Broly here, the only Dokkan Fest Broly that we have is, of course, is the... Um, I call it the super super Dragon Ball here heroes. I'm saying heroes, Dragon Ball Super heroes heroes. God, I can't say heroes. Dragon Ball Super Broly here, which is the Dokkan Fest here, and then we have is, I mean, nobody can use these guys at all. But except for this guy here, I think this guy is still really great. It's just that they just share the same name with, uh, with actually they're not share the same at all. But it's just that now. But what this can indicate is that now we can use these together, like this LR Broly here with this Broly here. Yeah, that's good. That's really good, honestly. And then, of course, with this Broly here, because the Super Broly does share the same name with this LR Tech Broly here. And now with this new name here, we can use this Broly and this Broly together now, which is going to be really awesome. So... What I do think is what's going to happen is that we are going to get a transforming Broly. I do think it's going to be base form. So if we're going to go off this here, let's just chart here. Um, I do think we're going to get Dragon Ball Z Broly, not Super Broly, but Z Broly or Super. I mean, I would not be opposed to that. So they could give us a Dragon Fest base Broly from Super. Give us a, probably an, an AGL version or a tech version of him. An int version, I mean, it doesn't really play one, but, you know, we don't have a Dual Confess into any of these guys. So, like, honestly, a Super Broly 
uh, getting a base form and then sharing the same name with the Z Broly. That could happen, honestly. I do think the Super Broly is coming to Dokkan with a transforming unit for base form into Super Saiyan and then full power. Or what I do think is we're getting a Z Broly that is base form trans uh, that transforms into Super Saiyan and then, of course, the legendary power, uh, sorry, legendary Super Saiyan Broly. So, like, I think that's going to tie in, or it could be some, something new that we don't know what's coming. So, yeah, honestly, I do think a Broly is coming to Dokkan, an HMR Broly, or a uh, God Goku that, you know, evolves this new name thing. I mean, it could not be that. I mean, I, honestly, that could not tie into this, this uh, celebration, but this is going to be really insane now. So, I really do hope it's going to be a Broly because we don't have a Dokkan Fest Broly that transforms. Well, besides this one here, but, you know, a base form into Wrathful Broly, the, the the Super 1, and then goes into Super Saiyan, and then goes to uh, Full Power Broly. Or it could just be the base form Broly from Z, going to base form Super Saiyan, and of course the, the, the legendary Super Saiyan, which we don't have that yet in the Dokkan battle. So this does probably indicate that it could be a Broly, but if it doesn't, then, well, it's still a good update uh, either way. So, yeah, there's a lot of things that this does open to the, uh, to the world of Dokkan battle, and it's really good. The game just continues to evolve, and it's a really good step to the future of Dokkan Battle. This does pretty much... Dokkan Battle is not dead anymore. Well, it's not been dead, but, you know, this could be gone for years and years and years, and this is a pretty good step to the future. So, yeah, that's all things to talk about. I wish I had some people here because I would love to hear their opinions on this stuff. So, unfortunately, it's only my stuff right now. But other than that, guys, please leave a like down below. And also, please, if you want to yeah, see, uh, I want to hear your opinions as well. So please leave it down a comment down below and I will look over the comments and see where's your opinion on this. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it like, I would assume you guys would love it. So just let me know down below. What do you think about this new update? I think it's really good. I like it. So I can't wait for this thing. I can't wait. So hopefully it does come to global during the same day because it's going to be a really good update and I love it. So all right, guys, thanks for watching. And of course, please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this discussions showcases you know uh news breaking news as well you know i'll be covering the new saiyan day unit so i don't know who's gonna be hoping for broly or god goku so yeah guys i can't wait so all right guys thanks for watching and of course i will see you next time peace